trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. You don't have to worry about what you are becoming. Just pay attention on the training. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Lift your hands and worship me. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. your hands, lift your voices and let's sing one more time. I sing praises to your name. For access to the wonders of the kingdom. The truths that set men free. For your name is great. I sing praises to your name. I sing praises to your name. Shela na na basila. Praises to your name. Someday, very soon, you will begin to live the rest of your life in thanksgiving as you watch with shock, as you watch how, how disastrous the life of a man can be when it is not built upon truth. Someday, very soon, you will step back and watch life like a movie and have tears from your eyes but not tears of sorrow tears of gratitude someday you will go to the place of prayer and not have a prayer point and say how can i be wicked to ask something else when you have done for me what no man can do what you are receiving is an is, is a visa for escape you are you are living you are living you may not appreciate it now you see you may not appreciate it now either because you are not seeing the results now or you have not been allowed to see the other side of disobedience but brothers and sisters i bet you in the name of the lord i want you to believe the things you are learning 
though we are few we're surrounded by men who have crossed the river before and this is the song I'll be singing forever holy is the Lord when my eyes behold your wonders holy is the Lord holy is the Lord holy is the
want you in one minute to open your mouth and thank the Lord. Just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. How can I fail? No. Impossible. Impossible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I found my way out. I found my way out. Thank you. Thank him. Thank him. Please don't pretend it mean it from the depth of your heart. Thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light me, 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 Lord. Like a candle. Tonight, oh God, light my life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Sing it with faith in your heart. us tonight we are here to access the mysteries of the kingdom that will cause us to rise and to prevail Lord I pray that you will help us tonight in Jesus name hallelujah before we sit down if you are sick in your body I want you to just lay your hands there I started feeling the healing anointing right from home I just want to minister to the sick in one minute Man de la Cruz Cadibaria. Lay your hands there. I want to take authority over the spirit of infirmity. I stretch my hands right now, inside, outside, online. Everyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of the spirit of infirmity. I command that devil to leave you right now. I release the healing power of Jesus Christ right now. Let that anointing step into your body like a drug and cause perfection right now i command every infirmity every infirmity you go now pains leave now in the name of jesus pains leave now every kind of discomfort in your body this is mount zion i command that devil to leave in the name of jesus hallelujah Please lift your hands. Every spirit represented in this place that is not of God, please pay attention. I'm praying. There is a reason why I'm doing this. I just saw something in the spirit. Anyone here? Under the influence of any spirit other than the Christ. In the name that is above all names. In the atmosphere of the glory. Right now, I command those devils to go. Right now. You have to leave. The word of God is about to come. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus. Everyone. Inside, outside. Under the influence. Of any other force. Every other agency. Every other spirit. Every other communication. Outside of the spirit of the Christ. I command that devil to go now. I dispel that spirit right now. Distractions through imaginations. Distractions through understandings that destroy the speakings of the spirit. Distractions. Physical distractions orchestrated by spirits. The spirit of slumber that cause men to sleep while the word of God comes. I cast it out of your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. I release upon you the spirit of understanding. In the name of Jesus. 
as I stretch my hands like a mantle, the Bible says, and open he their understanding. A man's understanding can be opened. I open yours this night. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Listen. Listen to me. We'll soon sit down. Listen. You see, you don't have to be educated to understand spiritual things. That would have been a big disadvantage to those who did not have the opportunity to go to school. Spiritual things are communicated by the spirit. So whether you can speak English or not, whether you are at whatever educational level, it doesn't matter. Once you are in an atmosphere where the spirit of God is permitted, the word has capacity to birth understanding. One more time, I stretch my hands to you. And I command that whatever makes the word of God barren and unfruitful. Whatever makes the word of God unfruitful, in the name of Jesus, I take it out of your life. Whatever makes you to doubt the word, whatever poisons your faith, so that as the word of God comes, you doubt every philosophical imagination, every scientific interruption to the quality and the power of the word. I command you to live your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray one minute. The spirit of understanding is upon me. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of understanding, the ability to receive, the ability to comprehend, with all the saints, the length, the height, the depth, the width, the ability to comprehend, the ability to comprehend, the capacity to receive spiritual things. Are you praying? This is part of the meeting. This is a year that you must be blessed. It's your year of triumph. For you to rise up like the eagle. Pray. Understanding. 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 Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Yeah. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. His influence is upon you tonight, brothers and sisters. Like a hand upon her young, brooding upon your spirit to make a wonder out of your life. if you can I want you to pay attention to a very deep mystery I want to share with you tonight very deep spiritual mystery open your eyes open your spirit Lord you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to me that's why i will lift up my voice yeah. You're my peace, 
I'm prophesying someone's miracles with him. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I rule it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. share with you the mysteries that are responsible for certain strange occurrences in the lives of men and women please I want you to pay attention tonight I want to teach you the mystery of exemption write it down the mystery of exemption my spirit is overjoyed you see when the Holy Spirit begins to rejoice through my spirit like this is because prophetically he has seen that the word will be received. Hallelujah. You will receive something tonight. I assure you. Hmm. Psalms 50. The mystery of exemption. Psalms 50 verse 15 and 6. Mantles have been given to the church. Mantles have been given to the church tonight. Mother Kai's arising from the gates of the church for the kings to be born, for the victory to be born, for the mantles to return, for the graces to return. Yeah. Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali, oh, yeah. David arising here tonight Man of power arising from this place here tonight For the kings to be born, for the mantles to return For revival to return, for the power to return Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, Chant in the spirit. That's what God is doing already. There will be a mighty baptism of mantles tonight. Believe me. Tonight is, is like an initiation into a realm of reality, a realm of possibility. There is such a provision in the kingdom. There is such a provision in the kingdom that men can be exempted. There is such a possibility in the dealings of God with man. Please be seated. Psalms 50, verse 15 and 16. If it's possible for us to have amplified, that's great. Otherwise, no problem. You are immersed in a strong atmosphere of God's glory because of something you will hear. Brothers and sisters, God is not playing games with us. I want us to believe Him. Everyone read as I begin my teaching tonight. Just be sensitive to what the Spirit of God is doing inside and outside. 
those outside please i want you to understand that there is no difference as far as the reach of the anointing is concerned one to read and call on me in the day of trouble and i will deliver you and you shall stop there 15 stop there go back please 15 so it's a two-way thing you have your own role to play your role is please keep it there honor and glorify me then he says call on me in the day of trouble and i will deliver you the shocking scripture that the lord led me to is verse 16 read if you're a christian 16 please go ahead and read are we bible students if god does not open your eyes to this thing bar you won't see anything believe me revelation is a spirit if there is no amount of cramming scripture and bible study that gives you the spirit of revelation god has to open the eyes of men but unto the wicked the word wicked there is not sinners the idea there is unto those who are determined not to walk with me. He said, what right have you? We are talking about right here. We are talking about a legal access. What right have you to recite my statutes? I shall not die. I shall not die. I, will, I won't be poor. I will be rich. He said, what right have you to recite it? Everyone is talking, just talking. I won't be sick and you are dying. I won't be poor it's clear you are getting poor there is a mystery confession is a powerful provision but under certain conditions see let me tell you something half truth can destroy you like a lie it can do the exact same thing a lie does to you that's why satan is not afraid of using half truth because it makes no difference to him he says what right have you to recite my status so everyone is confessing wealth and riches are in my house everyone is confessing oh i can't get into trouble i i can't have accident it's impossible and you are watching yourself die per second per second what right have you what right have you that's the point you should circle media not do wicked what right have you to recite my status or take my covenant or pledge on your lips talk is cheap brothers and sisters but you see the reason why many believers mock themselves in the presence of the world is we do not understand the systems of the kingdom say the systems of the kingdom so we camp around a dimension of reality and we mock ourselves and the painful part is we are doing what is right but the result is not there because it's not complete God is obsessed with completion. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience if and only when your obedience is complete. What right have you to be exempted? When there is a plague that is released upon people, what right have you to be exempted? This one is not free. What right? That means there is an authorization based on certain things that are done. Are we together now? What right have you to say a bike will not kill me? What right have you to say tomorrow I will still wake up alive? You know many made boastful statements like that and they are no more today many have said in the name of jesus if by the end of this year i'm not rich except god has not called me the years have passed nothing has happened exemption is a possibility that can be accessed by the saints exemption exemption the quality of being prevented from experiencing woes. The quality of being prevented from experiencing the pain, the tragedy of people. The quality of being exempted 
or being taken away from defeat the quality of perpetual triumph not necessarily the quality of not being in trouble but the quality of an assured escape as guaranteed as God himself is there such a provision in the kingdom if yes what are the keys to walking in such a reality I have taught us here again and again that our lives are defined by the mysteries we have access to so two people can walk upon the earth and their experiences will be the same remember the scripture I read to you the problem is never the foundation the problem is never that you are not born again but the quality of our lives the same way you have two students in a class taught by the same teacher so the problem is not the teacher in the same institution so the problem is not the institution under the same condition the problem is not the condition but then their results will differ and sometimes sharply that's how it is in life two believers two individuals two families two personalities can be within the same environment yet their results will differ why because the bible says that you arise and shine only when your light comes the light is available to everyone but those who are interested in accessing it and complying with the conditions and the terms if you're with me say amen, amen. what right have you you are making a boastful statement whereas you are seeing what is happening in this nation and you dare have the gods to say it's your year of triumph what right you're watching kidnapping and assassination happening you're watching you're watching people being poisoned just air killing people you can't sue the air to court you're watching demons sit on people's destinies you hear people tell you they went to bed and look at the testimony of of that dear lady went to bed and woke up with physical marks not spiritual marks physical marks on her body question what what stops you from being a victim i want to ask you a question what if as you are sitting down right now somebody is chanting your name in the shrine you can't stop them from saying it but the question i have is what right do you have to say i will not be a victim of it what rights do you have to claim that you will prosper i'm doing business it's a joke it's a big joke i have an uncle who is rich another big joke the mystery of exemption job 22 verse 19 I'm a student of the Bible I love the Bible I don't read the Bible to feel spiritual I am very serious about my work with God and my study of scripture I have found it to be the most reliable book I've read many books in my life it's so disappointing to know many of them are useless to my destiny and now that I've found the one that is useful he said I found your word and I did eat it right and it became a joy and a rejoicing to my soul 29 not 19 job 22 29 i want to share with you a few things from the depth of my heart that can exempt men go ahead and prophesy to yourself as you read this scripture want to read when men like they are saying now across the nations of the earth when men like they are saying now across the continent of africa in nigeria even in this city when men are cast down the bible didn't say they say they are cast they are not confessed it is their reality when men are cast down something you will engage 
will bring you to a point where for you there will be a lifting up a difference an exemption a separation write this down please everyone it's important to come to the lord's house not just with a bible please always have a bible but always have a good material to write or whatever device you're using but make it serious when you take god seriously he will surprise you when you play games with god and make him look like one of those many things in your life then you will not get results so i'm challenging all of us online those outside doesn't matter when you are coming to the house of god go as though you are going to be mentored taught trained built equipped don't go as if you are going to a museum to watch watch artifacts or watch a zoo to watch animals no you are going for a life-changing encounter are we together so exemption write this down exemption from evil exemption from defeat is a provision in the kingdom that can be accessed exemption from all of those things i mentioned is a provision in the kingdom that can be accessed that means it is within the power of god to cause men to experience exemption but like everything in the kingdom as we have been taught here everything in the kingdom including salvation the cheapest expression of god's grace and love there will always be a condition attached please train yourself into an understanding that every time you desire something in god know that there is a condition attached your condition is a demonstration fulfilling that condition is a demonstration of your trust in god and your authorization to commit him to deliver the results expected without condition there is no guarantee whether you are interested in what god is saying watch this if i drop a piece of cake on this table right and i don't give you a condition to pick it how else can i gauge and test whether you are interested i drop it here and say if anyone is interested come and pick it your coming to pick it is a demonstration to me that you are interested are we together you will find people who will not come i don't have to be angry with them they are only sending a message to me that i'm not ready to eat cake the same way other people are sending messages i don't want to prosper i don't want to rise i don't want to walk in the anointing i do not want to walk in the fullness of the reality and the possibilities contained in god obedience commits god obedience not to what you want you can't set rules and obey it you obey the conditions prescribed by god you can obey the conditions prescribed by a man and still fail you must obey the conditions prescribed by god hebrews chapter 1 the bible says god who in sundry times and in diverse manners spake to us through the prophet had in these last days spoken to us through his son son god who in sundry times and diverse manners he spake to us through different people but in these last days among many other things his chiefest means of communication is his son the word that he has appointed to be heir over all things so it is important to trust the word of god don't just believe it trust the word of god and respect the word of god say amen, amen. there are conditions that if you and i keep we will render the devil helpless and we'll find out that we can walk in the reality of triumph not as a cliche but an experience that will cause many to wonder and see the hand of god and then give him glory and i want to share with you two deep kingdom mysteries 
that are responsible for compelling triumph number one is what i call the mystery of putting god first matthew 6 33 the god first principle you can write it like that god dash first principle the god first principle matthew chapter 6 let's start from verse 31 if you will media 31 let's look at 31 god first principle wherefore take no thought other versions say don't worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed 32 for after these things these things what to eat what to wear the house you will get the car you will get listen carefully the children you will have etc your career whatever it says after these things do the heathen the gentiles seek notice the bible never said they get it he said after these things they seek it didn't say after these things they get it's a cause to seek those things because number one seeking them will never give them to you that's not how to get them the gentiles are getting it wrong they are playing by a wrong formula they seek those things and they never get them it looks like they get them but then you look at what else is taken from their life and it doesn't add up to nothing are we together then it says for your heavenly father your earthly father usually will forget that you need these things so god was comforting you there are many fathers in your life but the surest one the dependable your heavenly father knows that ye have need of all these things 33 but seek first everybody say seek first it didn't say seek together seek what does it mean to seek first if i organize a speech and price sam get ready to stand up and i say sam you took first come out do you join him he comes out alone topmost preferred so the bible says among the many things go back to your seat among the many things in your life I want to marry i want a job i want my enemy to die I, my i must buy a car this duplex is mine i must possess it i must receive a miracle alert i'm not saying those things are wrong it says among them come seek seek isolate god out of the group bring him out and pursue him listen carefully I'm showing you a very deep mystery. Let me tell you what many of us are doing. We are seeking together. So we say, God, come. Child, come. Civil service, where is he? Come. We gather them like this and say, God, just hold my hand. But Jesus said, my burden is easy and my yoke. You see that? And so God says, where do I stand here? He said, just be, be blessed that you are in my life. And God says, no, my jealousy cannot allow me fight with rent. Fight with whatever. You are so obsessed about getting land, you will miss a service thinking about land. You will never get it. That's the secret to high blood pressure. Are, are you listening to me now? It is the secret to all this frustration that people drive themselves and fall inside a, a gutter and not even know. There are so many things in your life. Then it says, seek first. Give us that scripture again. The kingdom. Seek first. The influence. The sovereignty. Make God first in your life. And his righteousness. The word righteousness there is not just the one imputed by faith. Understand his systems. Amplified says his way of doing things. So, if you seek the kingdom alone, your obedience is still not complete. He said, rather than looking for money, seek to understand principles. Seek God. When you find him and his kingdom, pay attention. 
while others are running trying to look for money while others are running trying to look for breakthrough he said stay with God and understand his systems what is your reward how many of these things will come this is Jesus talking please tell me how many all oh, he didn't say some then you now use the money you have and get the rest he said if you seek God isolate God and seek him and stay with his word learning the systems of the kingdom not just religiosity Bible study just to cram scriptures understanding the systems of the kingdom he leaves you with a guarantee one guarantee that all these things remember that these things of verse 32 what to eat will run after you what to drink will run after you the cars the houses the children instead of flying from pillar to post finding out and say look look i have to do something i'm tired of being buried the bible says seek the kingdom and when you begin to study the systems of the kingdom you will find a mystery that is responsible for fruitfulness it says and when you have found it it shall be a joy and a rejoicing to you do you know why many believers never rise up it's not that we don't read the bible believe me we don't we are not interested in understanding the systems of the kingdom there are many pastors looking for crowd looking for membership yet they will not understand the mystery of growth from the word of god they just they, they run around how are you doing it you how are you doing it like a charm like a genie no sit down there is no man who wanting to to build a tower the bible says who first sit down you know life makes it look like the moment you sit down you are being delayed you 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 get it now so people can come and meet you and say oh god till now you are not working every day you are just searching scriptures look at the foolish person who is talking to you ask him how much is his salary combined you are about to get it now the bible assures you to be added i'm not saying getting a job is wrong but you are settling down no i'm not just interested in a job i'm interested in favor why have i graduated three years and no job because of that i will not just study on a job i will study on favor i'm seeking the kingdom other people are running around and sweating watching football and you are there saying lord how how is it that men rise with favor huh ruth came with her mother mother-in-law and just went to a land with nothing and within 24 hours they left provision for her boaz said leave it as you clean some you think it's just because boaz liked her there was a mystery a woman who was even begging her mother to give birth to other children and she will wait her desire of maybe 25 30 years was answered in 24 hours and you are searching while you are searching your passion is attracting the holy spirit don't think you will just come foolishly because you no 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 the holy spirit responds to passion and hunger he will watch you reading it like a storybook first that's why you will not see revelation and you say i will not be discouraged i have to find this what happened to abimelech that made him carry gifts and just gave abraham he wanted to carry abraham's wife an angel showed up and said if you you would you are dead he didn't say you would die you would touch this woman you are dead so as a husband you are now afraid whether they'll kidnap your wife and you go back to scripture and say instead of running around policing my wife like a fool let me find out what is the mystery a kidnapper is coming and that same angel will say i've been here for a long time you touch this woman don't say is happening to others you don't know what they believed you define your reality by what you believe i keep saying it is when we will go to heaven that god will show me how many goats were slaughtered because of me how many rams were dragged to another house how many bottles holy god my picture is everywhere somebody will download it and shoot that picture till he injures himself when you surround your life with mysteries you will laugh you will laugh and laugh and laugh at a foolish devil 
You are everything. You are everything. everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. One more time, sing it on him. You are everything. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. Everything is you. Listen. Do you know Satan has a system? The economy of the devil is such that he's obsessed. Do you know if you work for Satan, you will still not be idle? Satan is the master of occupying people with things. The only difference is that they are useless antichrist and they have no bearing in terms of producing results. The devil will occupy you with issues that will stop you from paying attention. But hear what Jesus tells Martha. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and obsessed about many things. But one thing. How many things? One thing is needful. To sit at the master's feet. Not to sit down and worry. You must be listening and you must be understanding. You know, let me share with you a little testimony. I hardly talk about all these kinds of things. I remember years ago when God was starting out with us. That time, Zaria was not the way it is now. That time there were so many people, pastors, reverends, apostles, prophets. I mean, everybody was called. It was, it was, Zaria was on fire. Everybody was doing something. I remember clearly there were some gentlemen who would come and meet me and say, man of God, why are you always sitting like this? You are always writing, studying the Bible. One even offered to sponsor a, a radio program for me. He said, no, at your level, I mean, you are supposed to organize healing meetings, organize this, and, and I laughed. You know what I was doing? I was searching the mysteries of the kingdom. I didn't want to gather people and be a fool and waste their time and now be resentful at those having results. I knew it would take time. Brothers and sisters, ask those who knew me then. I spent my life studying scripture. I could sit down a whole day just searching the mysteries. You see, this hurry, hurry in life is a very bad thing god is a god of speed but he does not rush people he teaches you the precepts do you know i say it with all humility over 90 percent of those people today they are not even in ministry they were passionate about fame my god passionate about pas passionate about briefcase and suit the few times i spent with them irritated me you sat down with them in 10 minutes they were talking about their suit i couldn't afford it i could afford to study the word so i stayed on what i could afford god made it cheap enough for me to stay there there were so many people just they, all this fake and false life oh my shoe is this my dad and i just ignored them with all their nonsense and i'm glad i did just like some of you now while others are running god is saying sit down you are saying god for how long god is saying if you knew where i'm taking you you will start rejoicing because one step in knowledge will cover up 10 years of foolishness 10 years of wallowing in trouble you know this money thing god has said it's a year of wealth listen carefully to me most people believe that god cannot bless them they really do that's why they don't listen to him. If you were having a job, Sam, and you were paid, let's say 100,000. How much is that in one year? Please help me. One point. Assuming nothing changes in 10 years, how, I was going to say how old is that? How, how much is that? 12 million. Because of 12 million, you rubbish your 10 years. Rubbish your 10 years. Fighting, quarreling, hating, and living foolishly. Whereas God is saying, if you will pay attention to me, I can do something to you and bring your 10 years to 6 months, 
to two months to one month to one week and many of you are god don't just leave me i know what i'm doing you know for many people the apex of fulfillment is when they get a job just so i mean what when you are talking like they say, at least get out i have a job a good job what is a good job what is your definition of a good job when you are employed my definition of a good job is a good job that i have absolute control of if i cannot control it is not a good job because somebody's wickedness can affect me correct i'm not saying get a job is bad no 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 we prophesy jobs here there are many disciplined diligent employed people don't be lazy and think i'm endorsing you i'm about to attack you from the other side you know me i will have to balance it don't think it's not an endorsement for irresponsibility for whatever reason but i'm i'm showing you the vanity of trusting in things these are the things that destroy us to an extent that they now give somebody a job if the devil does it in such a way that every day you go to church or fellowship that's the day you will be needed most that's a useless and nonsense job i repeat that is a useless and what nonsense job the job that has to make you leave god to do it is a stupid job if you are involved leave it now let men insult me no problem leave it listen i've worked with god small he's reliable listen to what i'm telling you are we together now that's why they get angry when god blesses people because they come and say ah, ah, pastor alpha Abba, what happened three cars two duplexes then the painful part is he didn't build any of them say no this, this is i mean I'm, no i can't i don't like this guy whether you like it or not it's a mystery everybody say mystery that's why i call it a mystery a mystery of exemption that where others have to do a lot of things i've said it listen if you're a businessman here listen to me and don't think i'm daft as i speak stop wasting your time to save money to buy land in the kingdom you don't buy land through saving you provoke favor listen i know what i'm saying if well god bless you you can you can save and god will honor it i will even pray on it but you are you will be ready for frustration satan that i know will cause something you must eat out of that money no matter how disciplined you are when you are pushed to the wall you must withdraw something you don't get land you don't get properties by saving psalm 44 verse 3 give it to us please read that scripture and never forget it's just a digression and i'll get back to our subject of discussion and we'll pray i want us to pray tonight help us please psalm 44 verse 3 you are a christian please read it with all your heart one two read uh-huh so how did they get the land now teach somebody this thing and watch him insult you and say you and that your stupid man of god in koinonia you people should continue this nonsense you will beg for bread beg for bread see i'm teaching what i'm teaching some of you is very hard even you you are trying to believe it but what they have told you you are now wondering i hope it will work it's like leaving a rope you are about to fall and i'm saying leave that rope and just come and you are saying show me the the quota and i'm saying just leave it if it be thou bid me come what i'm sharing many of you i can't you, you see i'm a spiritual man i receive a spiritual feedback i see how many of you are struggling to believe and agree with what i'm saying it's not like you want to doubt it but you are saying, ah apostle is hard though some are foolishly saying it's because you are a man of god you are enjoying was i born a man of god you you join the junk that journalists carry and talk about people and say you are enjoying people give you tight and give you offering no i'm showing you how to be happy that's how to be happy that you can carry your wife 
and be happy. You can see Jimmy and his wife. You can see Ogasho and Shade. There are happy people. You can see Aaron, several Pastor Alpha. There are other angry people. You see them and their wives and stress. That guy is 35. But even you, you would, you would think that he is maybe 50. Life. Life squeezed him. Disobedience added his weight on top. And the devil sat on it. That's his destiny. Don't laugh. Take very seriously what I'm telling you. There are people, you see them with their wives happy, giving God glory. Giving God praise. Because they are, they, are, they are accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. They know what to do with their children. They know what to do with the enemy. Kai, may you know what to do. It's a disaster to be confronted with something you do not know what to do. The Bible says, but he himself, Jesus now, knew what to do. Look at the brother that shared the testimony. The one who trekked from um, this is the police station or somewhere. Now, you see, can you see that in spite of the trekking, he now climbed a bike and the devil wanted to kill him? It's not fear. It's a mystery. Listen, when you trust God, you commit him. Let me tell you something about believing God. Watch this. If this is the door, watch this. This is a big revelation for someone. Call this place I'm standing the door to your destiny. Are we together? If you turn around following this door with total sincerity, believing that it is God that is leading you, God will remove this door and keep it here to make sure you don't miss it. Let this be a deep word of comfort to somebody. Stop being afraid. Who said he must remain there? He said, I am the door. When he moves, the door moves. So listen, listen. That's why God protected that brother and brought him to hear the word. The devil may have planned. God does not give men doors. He's the door. Once you are following him, I tell you in your sincerity, even in your error, he will still say, I am the door. Pass. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I hold on when you see God doing the great things that he's doing through my life and through many great men it's not because we got his instructions 100% it's because our hearts are sincere so while based on what you saw in a vision I'm supposed to die God shifts the door and say pass let the enemies keep prophesying themselves into doom they were right but God was God did you hear what I said? They were right. Their predictions were correct. I shouldn't have made it, but God is God. Choose which part to follow, right or God. I follow him, oh. I follow him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't walk with God with fear. Since God revealed this to me, I, may, I live a very happy life to hell with Satan. I live a very happy life my heart for God is the chief requirement he will take me to the place of destiny if this is the path God earmarked for me and I follow this path but with a heart of sincerity knowing that I seek God my sincerity puts pressure on his reputation he will change that destiny and carry it and bring it here Believe me, I have walked with him. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. That's the reason why when a man gives you prophecy, it's still not the highest thing. You can change it. He's speaking based on what he saw. But there is something between you and God that can change it. Have you not heard that there were people who somebody saw a doctor saw that woman had lost a child they saw this guy had lost um, whatever and the man would look and say it is true i'm seeing blood you have lost the child but i bring a sincerity between me and god and after nine months a child comes out where did he come out from i am the door door means access 
the door to everything don't let men fool you and make it look like you have missed it you have missed it you hear people make that arrogant statement you have missed it miss what god my god you are joking he will navigate that door hear what i'm telling you this is why restoration is possible he can take it and turn the direction and bring it listen he is god he does not submit to any man you be god you know be man no you be God, you know, be man. Alpha and Omega, you be God. You be God, oh. You be God, oh. Sing it one more time. You be God, you know, be man. You be God, you know, be man. Let's say you be God, oh. You be God, you know, be man, oh. Alpha and Omega. Let me tell you a big secret the key is not perfection the key is sincerity learn this it's not hearing god 100 percent that guarantees your victory is the sincerity of your heart hmm. are you hearing what i'm teaching you tonight god first you touch a man addicted to god you are in trouble i'm telling you you touch a man that has carried himself and said, God, I belong to you. I seek you first. When you seek other things and leave God behind, you authorize darkness to tear down your life. When you say it, people think you are stupid. They think it's just a talk for preachers. No, sir. God first. God always. And you are free. The first key to exemption. Hear me. Is when God occupies every space in your life you will watch trouble come before you like this and pass you as if you're a spirit God first it's not about koinonia it's not about being a civil servant or a businessman there are many foolish career people who threw God away they loved God while they were on campus the moment they graduated, they became too matured for God. They threw him away and said, now we have, we have become, you know, I read, I read engineering, I read maths, I read, I read whatever it is. Lower levels of knowledge. They throw God, they throw his word, they throw everything. You never find them talking about God. They are even embarrassed. You come to their house, you mention God, you say you have come with this God, God thing, pastor. Run away from such kind of people. Koinonia, hear me. I love you too much. I'm training you to become a wonder. Run away from anybody who does not prioritize God. I don't care whether he's a politician, whether he's a businessman. If it's your husband or wife, you have a work to do. Start interceding seriously. Do you know, when people come and meet me and they say they are ready to marry, even if you hold hamper for me, it's a joke. Do you love God? Are you serious? You don't bribe me with wine and hamper. I'm not an idiot. Do you love God? Because when all else fail, that one thing will bring you back. Job lost everything. And the one thing left, the wife said, leave it all. Job said, yeah, leave God again. I lost everything. And you are now saying I should leave God. Why do you speak like one of these foolish women? And God had him. In pain, I hold on to you. Oh, I lost my job, but Lord, I hold on to you. How can I lose you? Are we together? My finances crashed, but I hold on to you. God first. The marriage didn't work out. Still God first. The miscarriage happened. God first. I thought I would not need to go for a surgery, but I went for a surgery. God first. Everybody shout God first. God first. Before that brother, God first. Before that sister, let the brother come and meet you loving God. Don't move around and be saying I'm 30 years. Keep quiet. God first. Don't sit down moving around and say, why wouldn't I get a job? Let the job come and meet you with God inseparable how can i leave him what will be my reason that he's not faithful 
I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I, I never, never see, see anyone like you. I never see. Please help me praise my like God. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. Sit down. Do you know some of you are looking at me strange? As you rise and you see many cheap victories, you will know why we praise God. We gave an instruction here, hold on, that people should dance their way to the next level. There were too many big people, big CEOs, arrogant people who felt too big. Why, why will I make myself a small child? Please, this koinonia, you make people look stupid. The kingdom is for children. When you become too big for the kingdom, you are too big for breakthrough. Too big for what? You think I like dancing? Have you ever seen me dance? Do you think I like dancing? But at his word, you become foolish enough to step into that realm. Are we together? God first. That you vow a vow tonight and say, Lord, listen, brothers and sisters, you know, every time I come here, I watch these little children and their parents. I see how many wrong things they do in 10 minutes. And I see how their parents go. I hear Ejimi calling his child. The wife is there. Everybody doing all they're doing. And I'm saying, that's it. That's the message. God first. They don't run to me. They run to their parents. God first. We hate God. That's why we run to him last. We claim we love him. The moment people are in trouble, you run to your strongest point of deliverance, which is your uncle. And you ran and he told you the money has not come yet. You insulted him and left angrily. You went to another auntie to an extent that you went to a stranger on the road and said, sir, if I die now, is it fair? And God, hold on. God is watching. We pray in tongues. We roll around. Are, we, are, we, are you hearing what I'm saying? We cry. We do a lot of emotional things. But in the midst of real life situations, let me tell you, God is my witness. You are spiritual people. Listen. The, every issue of my life, my first point of reference is God. I have convinced myself that whatever God cannot do in my life cannot be done. No. Are we together? Yeah. The moment there is trouble, and you are calling apostle. It doesn't work. You call prayer department leaders. It doesn't work. Call a Jimmy. It doesn't work. Call pastor Alpha. Call him. They are wicked. No. God is with you in the room there. You don't believe it and you are not even interested. How many people go and sit down in the offices of men from morning till evening? They sit by seven till ten. Then the man just comes and says, I'm tired. Can you come? Ah, yes, yes. No problem. How can I be angry? Because you think that the man can wipe your tears. And you spend 10 minutes in the presence of God. You are grumbling around and talking nonsense. Oh God, you are my. You now see why I sing that song? And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Listen, do you know, brothers and sisters, if not for God, the troubles I would have entered, the fulfillment of the prophecies of the enemy, Koinonia would have crashed, crashed like a plane, but for God. But for God, you will keep watching this ministry rise mysteriously like an edifice. It's not because of perfection, it's because of God. When you know this, you will be outspoken about God. You think your business will rise because you have capital. And so you will keep struggling with it there. Another ignorant person who respects God will come from nowhere and rise. That's why you see, when, listen, listen carefully. When men are clapping and saying, Ah, apostle did this. I thank God for it all. But me and God, 
we 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 know take god out of my life i'm as useless as this table you are seeing in the presence of anyone i'm not ashamed of it i say it everywhere because every time i declare him i bring joy to his heart and he says son you are sitting down on so much power yet you are telling men it's not you most of you will not do it let me tell you there are many of you here looking at me if you carry one tenth of the kind of anointing god has put in my heart pe people will worship you you will put your name on your shoe you will be, by now they would have made rapper with my face <laughs> by now you would have done everything but for him how can i dare claim that i'm responsible for this result will i be honest i may deceive you and you will believe me but i know listen after great meetings like this when i go back home i have my small chair i just kneel down and sometimes you just see me hold the chair and i'm just laughing i say "Kai god boy you self look at how these people are clapping sometimes the seeds that they sow into my life i wait till this my boys that are working for me when they go home i scatter it on the ground and i keep looking at it i say but god you know this thing doesn't belong to me abby it really belongs to you why will somebody walk and you pay someone else and god says it's yours that's your price for believing me god first who deceived you that god is only for preachers who deceived you that god is only for pastors wives please hear me there are people here inside outside online you are not determined to be passionate about god they ask you you say me I, I take my things easy i don't overdo anything you better overdo when it comes to god because life will so crush you into pieces life is spiritual when i worship god i make sure satan sees me worshiping god is a love affair and he's not invited he's absolutely not invited I sing this song not because it's a special number it's a revelation to me he is my God the way hope can hold a husband and say my husband you don't claim what is not your own this water is my own right the welfare gave me if you come to touch it now I'll say you are a, you are a word what are you thief thief there is a name for that when you claim he is your God you prove it through your intimacy it's not talk what right have you to stand and say let the power of God move what right have you you know most people think it's just by talking now the power of God will move 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 you are you are a big joker not with God not with God you must have a track record not of perfection of passion believe me if you do not have passion for god forget about doing business with god in this kingdom i want to ask you a question when was the last time you took a day off to spend time with god don't tell me you love him let's examine it you see why it is better for some people to not get jobs because god is having their attention now that they are idle they can spend time but the moment they get up they are now in a hurry making money hurry making whatever and then the times that they now have to spend with god the devil now occupies them with something else don't look for what only god can give it's not missing stay with the door the one who has it and he will give you many preachers come to me and they say man of god i want grace i want to see results in my ministry and I look at them, I say, so what do you expect to happen? And they just bring out of a bag, you see like four or five different anointing oils. And I'm not against it. They bring it as a man of God, just breathe on it. I will carry it back. And I look at the person and laugh. I almost want to tell them, get out of here. You are joking. You breathe a relationship? Is that how you grow your relationship? Time. Intimacy. Spend time with God. No spend time with men yes spend time with liars and psychophants who will clap for you now and betray you and betray you unreliable as they are they will clap for you as if they love you as soon as you turn they will stab you listen 
I stop trusting men's sins. Men are as unreliable as the devil. I trust God. So it doesn't matter what men, what they do to me. Everybody say God first. Say it, God first. Bless you. Let's look at the second part very quickly. Our time is gone. The second mystery that commands exemption, aside from putting God first in everything, is the mystery of kingdom service. Write it down. The mystery of kingdom service. I'm going to be very fast. Please write it and we'll pray. Kingdom service is promoting the interest and the purposes of God on earth. Promoting the interest and the purposes of God on earth. It's an extension of your love and your passion for God. Kingdom service. What is kingdom service? Serving God for a living. Serving God for a living. Kingdom service is not just cleaning chairs. No, no, no. Serving God for a living. There are three dimensions to kingdom service. Maybe we'll just touch one. And then next week we can take the other one. I wanted us to finish because we'll start a series. Let's see how God will help us. Number one. The first proof or the first index to measure your kingdom service is soul winning and establishment soul winning and soul establishment Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 soul winning and soul establishment brothers and sisters is a jackpot of breakthrough look at me anybody who tells you working for God does not pay is lying to you and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and they that turn how many many to righteousness they shall be as the stars that's their reward for turning many to righteousness soul winning is not for evangelists proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 please give it to us quickly proverbs 11 verse 30 soul winning as a demonstration of your service to the kingdom it says and the fruit of the righteous is as a tree of life and he that winneth souls very clearly he that winneth souls is what wise and the bible speaking about wisdom says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness long lasting riches not 10 years and you are down forever wisdom wisdom that when you win souls it is a service to the kingdom that compels God to bless you second Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 18 to 20 very interesting scripture second corinthians chapter 5 quickly please verse 18 to 20 the bible tells us that god has given us both the ministry and the word of reconciliation two things both the ministry and all things are of god who had reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and had given us what's the first thing it's an assignment he didn't give pastors he gave all men the ministry of reconciliation next verse to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and had committed unto us what the word he did not just give you the ministry he gave you the word what to say how to get men saved not just the passion and the assignment both the ministry and the word. Look at me. One of the biggest secrets to the growth of any flourishing ministry is soul winning, not revelation. I don't care how deep that ministry is. 
a ministry that trivializes soul winning will never grow go and search your bible search modern history search today i say it without any sense of shame find out a ministry no matter how deep they are in the things of god healing deliverance prophecy revelation whatever if soul winning is not an outspoken priority you never will find god trusting them with people most people think soul winning is a basic thing in christianity it's for people who don't have anything else to offer is that true what jesus died for everybody says soul winning there are some of you who can win souls and win your way out of every trouble you watch people who have not turned to righteousness you watch people you are coming for koinonia you move around and you watch lives and destinies languishing and going to hell and it doesn't bother you because you feel apostle will come and do it your passion for souls there are people here who God has lifted in strange ways. They make it as a point of contact to both win souls and draw them to the house of God where they will be saved. Shortly, I'm going to make an altar call. And almost everyone who will come out here was invited by somebody. You have won a soul. Let me tell you, every time you bring a soul to God, as he's getting born again, start clapping. It's like taking a check to a bank. While you are clapping for his eternal salvation, clap for yourself too. Because the devil is watching. You have saved the soul and authorized yourself for exemption. A woman can win her way out of barrenness. That you sit down and say, Satan, you claim you will not give me a child. I need three children. I will win five souls for every child. And you go out and you win five and say, that's my firstborn. Let's see the devil that will stop your womb from taking it. If you don't have womb, the baby will grow anywhere. After all, germs grow anywhere. Fibroid grows anywhere. Growth grow anywhere. It doesn't matter where the baby grows. The most important thing is that he comes out after nine months. Are we together? Koinonia is heavily protected, among other things, by the mystery of soul winning. I have passion, genuine passion for souls not fake that pastors just do and cry genuine passion for souls you are talking to somebody he says somebody else has, talk, has spoken to me say it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that somebody spoke to you does not mean you were born again i'm still talking to you koinonia hear me i challenge you begin a serious project of soul winning instead of gossiping on facebook discussing matters of people that are not your business writing things about men of god somebody i was i was i was shown somebody who tried to write a, a, some things about me thinking he knows me and i said look at do you see this foolish people he would have used that time and that unit to win a soul do you know the joy in the heart of a father when one person comes to stand before jesus listen every time we pray for crowd god sees my heart it is never for a name it is never to build an empire i'm smart enough to know how to be famous i'm intelligent enough to be able to write books souls souls that when you win souls it's on your record the bible says there is joy in heaven since you got born again let me tell you it's a shame as a believer if right from the beginning of this year till now you have not contributed in anyone's coming to the kingdom it's a shame you are doing the same thing an irresponsible man does to not bring food to a house the same way we say a man is stupid for not bringing food to his house imagine a man married and comes home empty-handed and the wife is saying honey where's the food say, food for what that's exactly what someone does if he doesn't win souls you watch people go to hell the primary assignment God has given me is not just to build and equip believers. You have to save them first before they are established. Facebook, text messages, you can find a way of reaching a soul. Genuinely, don't just say, I think he's saved. And talk to him and say, well, you see, you have to be serious with God. Think about it. Then you go back smiling. You didn't save him. 
you only informed him that his life is not going well it's a different thing if he rejects but give people a chance preach to your parents preach to your loved ones you see how we celebrate so winning here many of you when people give testimonies of cars i got a car i got a plane you clap but they say someone got born again and somebody just knows oh that's all right let's hear the real testimony which one is the real one the car that will perish have you not grown spiritually enough to know how the the mundanity and the vanity of the things of this life that's why we pray for souls that's why as much as possible as much as god grants us grace we keep making altar calls even if nobody comes let there be a witness in heaven are we together some of you that's what you did that god lifted you that's how this ministry started we would pray for people those times before they got admission when people came if that was before they started post ume i remember as soon as people come we are like holding them and the next thing they get born again they get filled with the holy spirit and we create room for them to be established if you heal men and don't save them they are going to hell are you hearing what i'm telling you if you give if i give you money and you are not saved where are you going to don't say heaven don't let anyone lie to you you are going to heaven you are you don't have jesus in your heart please don't let any theologian deceive you you are going straight to hell say hell there is a real place like that people left this morning they are there right now don't let people fool you and make it look as if the moment you're a nice person you go to heaven being nice does not take people to heaven if you cannot live your lifetime you deserve to go to hell if you live your lifetime without acknowledging the one who brought you you spent 70 years of your life and paid no attention to god this night i want to challenge you your phone is full of many names that are not born again you are looking at them and you are watching them god has given you access and influence over their lives many of our loved ones are on their way to hell we know it we know they're on their way to hell our roommates are on their way to hell our work people are on their way to hell our friends your husband is on his way to hell your wife some of our stubborn children are on their way to hell you can start interceding don't say any man cannot be saved that's the talk of the devil i have seen impossible people get saved there's nobody I, I, I don't believe that can be saved. Do you pray for souls? Or do you pray for money? Some of you are surprised. We are supposed to be talking about wealth. I'm showing you a jackpot of financial prosperity. God is not a, a, a journey that you crack like a charm. Souls. For as long as there is breath in me, I will keep leading people to Jesus preacher or no preacher i will make sure they love him i will make sure they love him stop discussing other things with people and don't probe their salvation people come to you and say we want to marry you talk about every other thing there is a way you can discern oh this guy is saved but there's a way you know this brother is not saved and he's about to marry a lady he's inviting satan officially to be the lord of that home you have to save it you are not just saving a man you are saving every child that will come you know believers don't be too western to be obedient take the foolishness of the word of god and be serious on tuesday you are coming for prayer department prayer band meeting is the only department that allows other people to join them you come alone you leave and you are going and you know that somebody so he, he may not be born again dear boy can be a starting point it takes a while to save souls you may not save them overnight but start introducing them to the atmosphere of god's presence the same way some of you now introduce someone here doesn't matter what religion doesn't matter what age doesn't matter what rest what, what race I have little respect for any man of God that does not pay attention to the simplicity of soul winning. 
I don't care what you have. The greatest people, when all is said and done, he that winneth souls is wise. You have no authorization to prosper and to ex be exempted from the, the ills and the perils that will keep languishing men when you are not a soul winner. Are you blessed? We'll stop here. Next week we'll take on the others. But listen to me very carefully. Tonight one of the many prayers you'll be praying is to cry for grace to have a personal revelation of soul winning. I don't want you to just get emotional over what I'm saying. You don't have to get tracks and move around. It is your lifestyle. Huh? There are certain businesses that in Nigeria, when the businesses came out, people were too grateful to keep quiet. They ran to people by themselves. Have you heard about this? Ah, my life is changing. And the person say, I'm not listening. You must listen. I'm not going anywhere. I love you too much to leave you. That's the same way. That's the same way you talk to somebody. Are we together? The person is laughing and says, see, you and this, your God team. We did it before. We did this God team before and tell him you need to go back. God is not a project that you do before and leave. Many of the people you preach to will tell you they were once saved. There was no follow-up system and no structure for establishment. So when the cares of life came upon them in anger, if God was God, why did he allow my wife die? If God was God, why did he allow me to fail? If God was God, why did he allow me to do this? I left God's sins and they say it. Explain the gospel to them. Let them know that there is a difference between an encounter with God and understanding his principles. Many people think the moment I come to Jesus Christ, everything will change. And be careful how you win souls. The basis of winning souls is not just to prosper them. It's a submission. It's a covenant of surrender and submission. When two people are getting married, they ask them serious questions. Will you be there for one another? Whether things go well or not. They answer yes to everything. And they mean it. Don't, don't lie to people. Of course, in Christ, you have access to these things. But train people to love God more than things and situations. Don't, don't make people think, immediately I run to God. Everything will change and then an attack starts on account of their decision. And they no longer can stand. There are many people who have been of other religions here. Some of them are here listening to me. They have made bold decisions for Jesus. And some of them, we have had to come in even as a ministry to shield and help them. Because they, they have gone and some are still going through heavy pain. They deserted them financially, left them for whatever reason. But because they were saved well, they were saved to love and live for Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. Before I make an altar call, while everybody is seated, I want you to cry. Pray while you are seated. Cry to God with every passion in you. And say, Lord, I am sorry for ignoring souls. I've been trying to do ministry and I've watched people go to hell. There are people who if I had spoken to them last week, last month. Pray. Lord, you gave me an anointing. I've been joking with it. Just throwing people on the floor and not paying attention to their salvation. You gave me a ministry. I've been playing games with it. Watching people look warm and unserious with God. Brothers and sisters, let's be sincere with ourselves. That's not how we started. That's not how we started with God. We started with the simplicity of passion for souls. Pray. Talk to God. They called you pastor's wife and you were ashamed and you stopped. Ah! They insulted you embarrassed you 
and you were ashamed then you stopped outside are you praying lord fresh passion to engage the mysteries that will exempt me from trouble from the grip of witchcraft from destruction that my life will cause men to love god my life will cause men to be on fire how can i be in an environment no one is changing no one is serious no one's prayer life is rising no one's word life is growing never transfer the message to anybody you've never bought a bible for anyone never done anything to contribute to the salvation of anyone you're not acting as a genuine christian believe me brothers and sisters yet you want the anointing yet you want to be invited for crusades do you want the name or do you love god do you want the fame or do you love god do you just want the prestige and the persona or are you genuinely passionate in this place here and now lord your kingdom reign your kingdom reign in our lives in our homes your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life i let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life tonight i let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign, above all, above all, your kingdom reign. forget about fame and go for souls and watch the wonder God will do with your life forget about complaining for a husband or a wife and go for souls forget about the witchcraft in your family I know you were born with witchcraft I know there are practicing people who are manipulating your destiny leave them alone and go for souls and let me see the charm that will tie you down souls don't just pay tight don't just sow seeds win souls win souls win souls you are too big to win souls you are too big to be exempted you are too big to turn many to righteousness you are too big to receive the defense of god against the vicissitudes of life but apostle i'm a shy person that's why there is grace for you but apostle I'm not a man of God the Great Commission is not for men of God my friend prayer point number two Lord every soul appointed to be saved through my life in the name of Jesus I begin to seek them and pursue them every soul appointed there is somebody that must escape hell because i am alive lord where are they reveal them to me and give me the grace to hunt them lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray koinonia who have you appointed to be saved through my life lord who have you appointed to be saved through koinonia who have you appointed to be saved 
to be serious with God through our teachings. Jesus said, all that you have given me, I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition that scriptures may be fulfilled and none is lost and none is lost hallelujah before i make the altar call i want you to take two minutes find somebody that is serious and i want you to intercede for your family members and say i stop them from going to hell lord they can't go to hell i know as at now my father is not yet a christian but lord eternity in hell have mercy pray my brother my husband my wife pray for those who are saved too and are not serious there are people saved but not serious saved but not passionate Save them, O God. We release angels, angels of salvation. Draw them to meetings. Draw them to crusades. Draw them to meetings. We release angels of salvation. Lord, give them dreams. May they have encounters with Jesus in their sleep. May they have an encounter with Jesus in their offices. It's time for their salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are rounding up. We are going to pray for salvation through encounters. That's the strange dimension the Spirit of God is moving right now. Where men by themselves are in a room, all of a sudden they are caught up. An encounter that will rattle every stubbornness. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, we release encounters. This night, dreams. This night, visions. This night, encounters in the beer parlor, encounters in public places, encounters in business board meetings, encounters. While he's preparing to go for arm robbery, encounters on the road, encounters with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. You are going to pray. And say Lord I have made you first in my life and I'm committed to serving you therefore I invoke exemption upon my life I no longer will cry their cry prophesy it I no longer will go through their pain no glorious exemption from poverty glorious exemption from sickness Glorious exemption from failure. Are you praying? May that mystery be activated in my life. May that mystery be activated. Surely they will gather. But by this mystery, they will scatter. They will come in one way. And the Lord will disperse them in seven ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you.
I prophesy upon everyone here as you are laying your hands the same way a mark was put by God to Cain and said by this mark you anyone who sees you will leave you in peace he did it to a sinner Cain he put a mark right now in the name of Jesus as you are placing your hand on your head I place a mark of exemption upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me if the devil is looking for men to kill in a car accident it will not it will be minus you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the devil is fermenting trouble to destroy families cause scandal between husband and wife cause scandal between pastor and whatever in the name of Jesus minus you you are exempted in the name of Jesus hear me the same way God has exempted this ministry from financial turmoil and recession I pray upon you beginning from this night every time a man is looking for who to favor I command them to find you keep your hands I'm still praying if there is any mark just keep your hands if there is any mark upon anyone's life that brings bad luck that brings enemies that brings the wrong people that brings the wrong situations the wrong atmospheres I'm speaking to you right now that mark is erased forever 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 erased forever erased forever that mark upon your ministry that misrepresents you that mark upon your life every sincere thing you want to do men see it in another way that's the mark of the devil every time you are doing things genuinely but people keep misunderstanding you I cancel that mark from your life now I've said it here again Satan is never afraid of the word read your Bible there is no place in scripture that records that Satan is afraid of the word Satan is afraid of your understanding your partnership with the word is the dread of Satan in fact the Bible says speaking about the sower and the soils it says that Satan cometh immediately and takes the word and the word does not react on him because the word in itself is barren and unprofitable it takes the faith and the understanding of the believers to give life to the word to now be able to speak the word of God is a bank of potentials activated through faith and your faith is the summation of your understanding proven by your steps first your understanding then your steps your understanding is evidence of your conviction are we together now I've spent my life studying the systems of the kingdom and I still do Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 please help us let's rush tonight Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 it says the labor of the foolish weary at how many it didn't say where is one from the group every one of them why because he knoweth not how to go to the city he didn't say there is no road he knoweth not 60 verse 1 of Isaiah says arise shine amplified says arise from the frustration and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you he says rise to a new light arise shine why for your light is come not that your light is available it's always been there but the day it comes to you it has capacity to cause you to arise please hear me believers God is not a charmer he's not a magician there is always an engaging of the systems of God fear is a product of ignorance or inaccurate understanding of the systems of God the antidote to fear is not just casting the spirit away there is the spirit of fear 
but there is there are activities that results to fear naturally an understanding of the systems of God so this is what we desire but do we know do you know for instance believers that in the economy of God with men there is a way that men can receive bad things that leave them we call it restoration we all know and we all agree that restoration is a possibility in God's dealings with man but do you understand the system there is an exact spiritual system that produces that outcome are we together now yes there is a system scattered in scripture that distinguishes men and lifts them up listen let me tell you something the word of God is only profitable when we understand our roles in making the outcome happen the word of God is only profitable when we understand our roles the summation of what the Bible calls faith is first understanding this is where the challenge is our understanding being faulty being incomplete being unfruitful so it is incapable of delivering the results that we expect and therein lies the power of darkness leveraging on our inaccurate understanding of the systems of God and then we mock God there are people who have come with several situations tonight and within seconds we've not been away for over a week I mean it's, it's been a tour right from the west down to the south and here and it's been an amazing time watching all the miracles and the things that have happened you know I have wondered wondered just like those who receive I have wondered at how easy it is to get God's hand having the readiness to judge all disobedience if and only when our obedience is complete ignorance truly empowers Satan in fact there is a class of the demonic cadre called rulers of darkness their dominion is activated whenever there is no light we must contend for accurate understanding there is no one in school to sponsor me I am alone so you say but there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where he can raise strangers he said it strangers will feed your flock keep the promise but find out the system that commits God to making it an epistle in your life here and now otherwise we will continue to mock ourselves again and again God said it but we may never see it in our lives someone listening to me here inside outside across the nations of the earth will need to realize that this is the key it's not God it is our lack of participation to produce the outcomes that we desire say amen this is the second reason why many people remain perpetually in failure and defeat let me give us something Isaiah 31 is a scripture that blessed me so much and I think it will bless you verse 1 to 3 those who depend on the strength of men the strategies of men listen to what the Bible says woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many it says and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not to the Holy One of Israel neither seek their God let's go to verse 3 verse 3 please it says now these Egyptians that you claim are so formidable they are men no? are we together now it says and not God and their horses are flesh there is a limit to which they can defend you it says and not spirit when the Lord shall stretch out his hands listen both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is helped now this is an ancient language shall also fall down two of them shall do what if God does not help you and your destiny helper together so it is never from men I've taught you this all every good and perfect gift comes from above through men to you
from God through men to you so your prayer is not to men the God of all flesh that can manipulate things according to his will from God through men to you when it becomes from men that begins the cycle of tragedy from your life anything God cannot give me let no man claim he can give me I know we say yes sir but we don't believe it it shows on our our desperation calling the attention of men you are my last hope Sam if you don't pick my call I'm dead that's a man who does not know God because he said if you will not praise me it is still within my power to raise up things that should not do that God is only limited by how much we trust him his wisdom is multifaceted has the capacity to invent new formulas of communicating your breakthrough to you your assignment is to trust him enough who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean rolls to the lord of lords never never allow your appetite or your perception of the ability of men and human strategies to help you to outrun and push away the fact that you know God is faithful I know you're a businessman and I've read every business book but by and large is only a channel every good and perfect gift comes from above I know you went to school but let me tell you something if God does not speak a word on your behalf your certificate can be a piece of paper on this earth as sad as the recession is it has brought so many arrogant people to their knees men who think God is limited by their perceptions and whatever it is no God is mighty he's not scratching his head in heaven wondering what to do with believers his wisdom is so infinite it reinvents itself to manipulate answers to men regardless of the circumstances you are God alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone and right now time set The next time a man tells you I will not help you you are in trouble thank him don't cry go back to God and say Lord how many men did you say are on earth six billion let your wisdom your infinite wisdom that can raise up stones stones that can raise up stones to praise and glorify him I will never trust the strategy of men above God I love and know and fear him too much to be that foolish that a man comes and says look Ejimi tomorrow I'm going to change your life just because you have five billion in your account that's a joke is it not until that man wakes up from the bed in the morning listen I'm, I'm not I'm not teaching you dishonor remember I've taught you the gift of men I'm showing you the depravity the falsehood the waste of time that is committed in making men God this God is a mighty God your trust in him puts pressure on his integrity pressure on his integrity that's what brought some of you here from so far you have put pressure on his integrity I assure you he will not disappoint you yeah. hallelujah all through scripture the Bible is full of God's promises and then attached to them are conditions that men must satisfy as a proof of their faith in God God cannot assume you trust him so he creates a condition 
so that you're activating that condition is proof of your partnership that I agree with you it will be costly for me to take this water and then tell Pastor Ejimi, I want to force you to take. No, 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 no. I can't assume he is thirsty. Are we together? So I say, Ejimi, if you are thirsty, I have given you access to this. Your picking the water is proof that one, you are thirsty, but number two, that you believe I'm not a liar. Now, if you want to come and pick this water and the protocol stops you, it, you, have, you have obeyed, you have put pressure on my own integrity and so I come in. And I tell him no. I instructed him. He's acting based on his trust in me. He's not acting based on rebellion. The problem is never the devil. The problem is our fear. Alienated from the life of God. Through the ignorance that is in them. Number three, quickly. The third reason why people experience failure defeat perpetually is demonic oppressions demonic oppressions first john chapter 5 verse 19 demonic oppressions we live in a world that is full of demonic activities and the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the reality that there are forces of darkness that attempt to contend with the liberty of the saints it says and we know that we are of god read on and how many not Nigeria. The whole world does what? Lieth in wickedness. Like you say, my child is lying on a carpet. The whole world lies on a mystery of wickedness. The condition to be a potential victim of this is that you are born of a woman. The moment you arrive here, that's all. Are we together now? You know, several people say, who did I offend that all this trouble is in? All those things are, they are just cultural ways of trying to manage pain. The whole world lieth in wickedness. The moment Jesus was born as a baby, all of a sudden, when a star came at the east, Herod, the spirit of the Antichrist, began to walk in Herod and they wanted to kill Jesus. Even in heaven there was war. He said there was war in heaven a woman i saw a mystery in heaven a woman was about to give birth to a child and a dragon came and stood waiting to eat the child and the bible says the earth fought for the woman and took the woman to a safe place hear me brothers and sisters the bible says forever O lord thy word is settled it tells you the location in it takes faith and the operation of god's word for it to be settled in your life it is settled in heaven hence the dexterity and the order in heaven but on earth there are still forces contending with the purposes of God and the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 please give it to us verse 12 Ephesians 6 and then verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities listen I want you to listen to my message against spiritual intelligence that message has blessed so many people I was talking with my mother Jimmy today and uh, my mother almost made me cry and she said she was listening to spiritual intelligence so much and making several decisions in her life based on that spiritual intelligence will teach you not to waste your time being angry with men fighting men because every man every man is just is a physical form being manipulated by a reality from the realm of the spirit you have to know this it is never about your in-law it is never about your son it is never about your daughter no no wasting time on men will make you hate people you cannot love there is a revelation that sponsors love so even if people speak against you you know that they are not speaking of their own Peter tried to rebuke Jesus that you will not die on the cross he said Satan get thee behind me and he said Peter Satan desired Peter said which Satan we came here together Satan desired to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren because you will look for them too are we together he says but against principalities 
against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places Paul himself was not he did not leave the church in limbo as to the reality that at every point in your life there are forces that will attempt to mock God here's a revelation God gave me recently every sickness every oppression is like a letter Satan is writing to God he uses men like the canvas and says I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true are we together now so when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me it's not about you Satan does not even care he is trying to use men the highest of God's creation to make a statement to the heavens that bowing down you did not do I am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me and so when God finds a witness men and women who represent the systems of God who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of God in the earth they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men watch this so this lady come darling this lady has cancer it's eating her up that's a letter from satan it is never about the cancer satan does not care he's he's contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this are we together so when she comes for a miracle service like this god begins to rejoice not because he just became powerful finally an intercourse between need and supply listen every time hear me every time god heals a man it was not that night he planned to heal the man he had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace the unction level it takes to produce that miracle and when two of them collide there must be a miracle i've taught you something listen oh let me not go ahead of myself i'm enjoying myself here very seriously listen this lady cancer now i've prayed for her and she's not healed that's a double message you see that that message now her faith begins to fail her because she's saying but but i mean does that mean my situation is different and she goes to god lord i love you i love you but then she begins to think and somebody comes to say look there's one man somewhere oh, i'm advising you all this your jesus thing me too i'm a christian i gave my life to christ before you were born i'm only telling you this what is there to just go and carry one goat i can even give you half of the money you see it is a statement satan uses men their situations is like the pen he writes a letter to heaven watch the ones you claim you died for barren of your faithfulness yet you study from scripture I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see beg for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life 25 people immediately 25 people because a dead body came back to life you can't deny that are we together that's a statement brothers and sisters tonight my father will write another statement yes he will yes he will see God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 opening. Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. 
so when miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed that's the last reason for a miracle miracles are a message it's a reply from God back to men and to the gates of hell I am still faithful the lion the lamb my benevolence is still in force I am still good my mercy endures forever and he uses men sometimes you see in his wisdom he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says Satan how about this when you understand this hear me you will passionately pursue the presence and the power of God not for fame you are seeking to give God space there is a statement that God needs to write to principalities and powers they mock God in our lives are we together this is what happens because it's difficult brothers and sisters we are humans when your life has a track red code of perpetual failure it will test your faith and that's when Satan comes and tries to say where is your God you are 39 years as a lady you have loved God all your life no marriage and I'm here believing my life anyhow I'm still married but another man see wants to add another marriage to me look at two of us brothers and sisters they are not speaking on their own it's a letter so it is good to give God thanks in that situation but it's best to give God thanks in victory are we together yeah. thank you demonic forces they exist they are real and they have made nonsense first Thessalonians 2 18 please let's hurry up first Thessalonians 2 18 the apostle was speaking and he opened us up to something very very profound I want us to read together ready one to read wherefore we would have come to you even I your breakthrough but what happened help me please once and again your breakthrough would have come to you your prayers answered already but Satan hindered us Satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men Satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men are we together now it's part of the reasons why we pray we pray because in the place of prayer we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness we enforce the victory of Christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God the last reason very quickly and then we'll pray why do people experience limitations in their lives they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment this is the last reason the last reason I've given you four reasons why people remain in perpetual defeat they trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 we celebrate the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place not just the ministry of the Spirit as you know we're on a series in the Holy Spirit he said finally my brethren haven't told you all these other things finally my brethren be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord and in the power of his the word might there means his resources his resources the power that comes with his resources there are arsenals there are mysteries there are supplies of graces and possibilities that make God God and the Bible says we should be strong in that the power our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom are we together now there are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers once and again Psalm 66 verse 3 
Psalm 66 verse 3. Let's read. One to go. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. Help me please. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Brothers and sisters, it takes power to reign in this kingdom. It takes power to reign in this wicked world. It will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper. It takes power. It's more, it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world. Are you going to bribe? No, I will stand in for truth. That means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades. Are you from so, so, so state? No, I'm not. No, you are not qualified for this position. Human sentiments. It takes power to defy the wickedness of men. It takes power. Hallelujah. It takes power. It takes power to build a ministry. Much more than wisdom. It takes the ability of God. He says, Rabbi, John 3 verse 1. We know that thou art a man, Nicodemus, seeing the mighty works of Jesus Christ. They criticized him in the day, but he smuggled his way to Jesus in the night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except God be with him. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's authorization upon a man to represent him. God's authorization. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's ability. Listen, the capacity to produce God's result, God's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace. We trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God. And since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry, I do not need the anointing. No, brothers and sisters, hear me. The anointing, the anointing, I've said it again, I want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing. A thriving ministry and a struggling one, the anointing. A thriving career and a struggling one, the anointing. The anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now. Don't trivialize it. Don't say it is unnecessary. No. The anointing is God's advantage in the life of the believer. It truly is an advantage. I think it was the last set of School of Ministry students. I was teaching them when we were doing pneumatology. I was teaching them about the anointing. And I said, this is our wicked world. People ask you, who is your father? It's an iron bender. Who is your mother? She sells a car somewhere in the road. No, you cannot rise. We are victims of the wickedness, the sentiments, the ethno-religious biases of men. In a world where people want you to bring something, you need the advantage, not an advantage. Brothers and sisters, the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody. The anointing. Others may get there because of their connections. Others may get there because uncle so 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 went. And once you are there, they ask you, how did you come? And then you laugh. God's ability. God's ability. Is working in me. Is working in me. Is God's ability. God's ability. Working in me, it's working in me. That will be your testimony. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. Working in me. The anointing will always produce supernatural results. You've heard me say it. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in our eyes. If it is a man's doing, it is natural and logical. But brothers and sisters, when your result defies 
the natural progression there is another agency other than you when your results in any area of life listen they called Jesus they said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub he said if I use Beelzebub the prince of demons by whom do your fathers their fathers were casting out devils they fraternized with the realm of the spirit access powers higher than a human power and were producing results that statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know yes yes in this day and age brothers and sisters the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes you don't just tell somebody be healed that's arrogance without the anointing now let me show you something i've taught you this again and again but i feel like doing it let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me please look at this because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing i want you to learn this please by the grace of God and by the privilege of his grace, I can tell you I understand the workings of the anointing. I want you to pay attention and listen closely. I may not boast of any other thing, but I can tell you I understand how this thing works. Listen, the anointing works like money. Watch this. If I give you, a Jimmy, 1,000 Naira, do you know that there are many things this can buy? 1,000 Naira can buy this, but 1,000 Naira cannot buy a car. Are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1,000 it is good that you have 1,000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say I'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable I thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing God's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results that's the anointing listen if I try to lift this it doesn't mean I don't have energy it means the energy dissipated per unit time is small so I need another agency to assist me is that true believers this is how it is so it is not that the name of Jesus is there, it's not working. It is not that the anointing is not working. The situation that you are confronted with, this is why grace and peace is multiplied. Because there are situations that defy that current level. So he says, grace and peace be multiplied to you. Why is it multiplied? How God anointed Jesus, Acts 10, 30. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing if Dan Gote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how, do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him? Because it is within his capacity. Are we together? If Koinonia decides to give everybody here one, one million, we'll have a problem somewhere. Correct? Not because we don't have money. It is the limit of our capacity. So it's not when, when this guy has a problem. It's like a shop. There is a dimension of anointing required to solve it. So when you come to help him, it's not just that you laid hands, he may even fall down. But the money is short. What do you need? More. More. More of the same thing. Not more of a different thing. More of what? The same thing. So Benihim can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair. You see, that's... The anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of God. When you are not heavily anointed, you create a wrong picture of God because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much God tried to release that result. But watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a testimony. It's called capacity. The anointing makes God look limitless. In the affairs of men this is why regardless 
of the results here and there that God produces will still remain in the secret place because there is more brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if I ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of God gets up here called Joshua Selman I would be a wicked man if I have not stayed with God sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the Holy Spirit that's why we cry for his mercy because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God and we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry that's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith he switches to the covenant that that man has with him and it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men are we together tonight let me tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys yes yes it doesn't take time it only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it learn this about the anointing the anointing can greatly misrepresent God it's like a television that is not well tuned it will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television and that's when you watch the artistry of those people the anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God hallelujah I take time to teach like this because the miracles and all this will not take time once your heart is aligned to receive then you will receive miracles upon miracles are we together this is how he gets glory when he finds men who are heavily anointed please hear me never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great i tell you you ask the lord my work with god is as if i don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that i'm working with god and i seek to get i have seen them in dreams and visions and i did not see this current level we are trusting god for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother new wonderful mother in portacourt lovely people those of you from portacourt i know they are listening to me now they are following me lovely lovely woman i love you with all my heart and um, the whole family i mean they are just into this ministry with their heart she donated her car and everything for them to use for the program and she shared a testimony i think it was yesterday that touched me she had been having some kind of respiratory problems and so when they picked me from the airport her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place and that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home brothers and sisters that was the end of it now listen listen when you understand the anointing there is something interesting about it when you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed the more heavy you are anointed the will your will plays little role in its release it becomes wherever ask the woman with the issue of blood jesus did not even listen now he was not planning she just touched him and jesus said who touched me the anointing didn't say jesus can i flow no. so you can be in a restaurant you are eating and all of a sudden now you will never believe what i'm saying if you are casually anointed if you truly are anointed you become a blessing you greet somebody just shake his hand and that day he has more customers than he can ever imagine now even you you do not know till he tells you an effulgence of spiritual possibilities you your life has become a gateway and a portal revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man i welcome you tonight to this place where god has chosen by his spirit 
to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory please rise up on your feet oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart. Number one, I'd like you to insist and say, Lord, I release my faith. There is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy, declare it. I wave every captivity goodbye. Jesus is Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hala prakato sete katabanda shabrakadabala. Shikete paratos kapratas kalabasya. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. Dera na 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 shela na. Shikadabala kataprakato sekete. Shebres kete shalabanda katai. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy You are holy Ta da da Ta da 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 Ta da da One last prayer point father take me to a new dimension there is always more lift your voice and pray take me to a new dimension take me to a new dimension are you praying take me to a new level let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony 
I want you to trust God. Please hear me, especially for the visitors here. I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny, you have to believe that they will live now. Are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season, and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight. And he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is here. Now listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit and I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight, bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now at the count of three, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare in the name of the Lord God whose I am. Right now at the count of three, I release that grace. I command every devil standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough. I command that you leave right now. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three. Go now. Go now. Bring them out. Shake it, take a Inside and outside. That fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take it out. Bring them out. Shepherdos Kobata. Right now, in the name of Jesus, my God, I see deliverances happening to people by the Spirit of the Living God. Deliverances happening to people right now. Right now, right now. Bring them out, please. In the name of Jesus. She pray take it out. Outside, overflow one. I see a ministry of angels. Strong ministry of angels. Bring them out, please. She prakatosotolaka. I come in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I establish victory. Victory, I command it. Break through every force of darkness. Defying the word of the Lord. I bless the word of God upon your life. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, my God. 
I still see these breakthroughs. I'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit. Listen, I'm seeing at least 17 people. 17 people I'm going to pray and the power of God will come upon you. Strange doors opening right now in the name of Jesus. I declare by the count of three, one, two, three. Open now. Open now. I command it. I declare it now. Now, open doors by the Spirit of God. Open doors. Open doors. Satan Secretary. My God, doors opening over lives. Opening over destinies. Opening by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. and pray the Lord is showing me people here with strange delays you love God but strange delays I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit and this is not from darkness it will come upon you once it comes upon you know that that delay will end right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands as I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, where are they? Men and women who have been delayed strangely. Right now, right now, right now, I command that light and power, that light and power, ending delays now. Mighty in this place, mighty in this place, you are mighty in this place, mighty in this place. You are mighty in our lives, mighty in our lives, mighty in our I'm seeing something strange in the spirit coming upon sisters. I'm seeing a strange grace for speed. Just sisters, sisters, I'm seeing this. And the Lord is asking me to prophesy it. As soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed. I see this in the realm of the spirit. Now, Lord, I place the word of God upon this prophecy. And I declare, ladies, step into speed now. Supernatural speed. Shepreketata. Run like Elijah. I command it. I decree it. In the name of Jesus. Strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now. Like the dew of heaven. Coming on you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now, and I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys, listen, keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys. These keys are solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. You will help me shout that name Jesus again. I see keys 
been handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of God now Lord I pray that even as you have shown me whoever should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing I decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now are you ready at the count of three get ready now my God my God my God one two for you but let me just do what the Lord is asking me to do I've told you many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state it's a sign and wonder you see these things they are operations of the spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on south 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 that entire region now now, all those who come from that region, South South, South South, a miracle. Now, but don't shake it. Let bread be get to Sumata, Lakata, Braskata, Bashikate. In the name of the Lord Jesus, South South, the Spirit of the Lord brings breakthrough to men and women. You can't stand it. Breakthrough. Every hand in delay from the South South. I see the hand of God strong upon men and women strong upon men and women ending captivities by the spirit of the living God hallelujah there is somebody in overflow too you are holding a picture you are holding photos please come overflow too by the roadside let the person come let the person come quickly you are holding a picture the Lord is showing me someone please let let that person whoever he is or she is please quickly you are holding a picture run come you are wearing like blue uh, is it blue or black now who is that Come. Holy, holy. Don't worry, Mama. I'm going to pray for you. Where is your daughter, Ma? No mic. I'm looking at you. Hold on. Is this her? I'm looking at you, and the Holy Spirit is taking me, and I'm in Kano. Where is she? She's at Kano. Where is she? That's what I'm saying. She's at Kano. And the Lord, why, why, why are you holding her picture? Have, uh, up to now she have let that get married uh -uh. and this, this day is, she's sick this is what I'm saying this is what God wants to destroy because I'm seeing her in Kano and you are standing in for her yes. I'm supposed to pray for those outside but I saw this and the Lord is saying I should minister to you go and tell her that the Lord brings her life this sickness is over <laughs> hallelujah sir where are you coming from? Mina, Niger State. Niger State. Thank the Lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming. And the Lord has brought you deliverance. Is this your family? Yes, sir. This is your family. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. How many children? Four children. Have you stopped giving birth? Do you think this is all? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing one more, a baby girl. Yes. After this. Yes. Hold my hand, sir.
but the lord is going to i'm seeing you have serious problem with finances very serious you are not a lazy man even you you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble but i want to pray for you because the lord is saying i should release you from this hold my hand sir i bring you life in the name of jesus christ you will go back and return with a strange this man's life will change like day and night in the name of jesus christ mama please come i don't know this woman but i'm asked to pray for you i look at you in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing two hands like this you're a woman of prayer this is what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit look at me ma you love god sincerely but many things are going around they are scattered in your life and you have been asking can god come can god step in even when you were there you were praying that prayer i had you praying and the lord is saying i should tell you he's giving you rest today he's giving you supernatural rest madam please stand up please stand up ma'am please stand up where are you coming from madam it's from sabongari you are coming hold my hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god your life will turn around and that of your family this is by the spirit of god by the anointing of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ have i prayed for you darling come in the name of jesus i end captivity from your life by the power of the holy spirit right now in the name of jesus i end captivity don't worry i mustn't speak to you as i lay my hands on you i want to believe there's someone you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now that is sir can i pray for you sir i'm going to pray for you and the lord is going to give you peace and the lord is going to raise people to help you now sincerely speaking i want to be honest with you it is not within my power to stop you from getting married i we generally can only advise because you see let me teach you something especially as a pastor there are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world and when you are ministering sensitive things like this um they are listening and every territory has laws are we together now things are a bit flexible in nigeria but if i were in america and i'm talking to this man like this and saying don't marry another wife the son can go and sue me or the ministry so this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith are we together sir it is not within my power and i have no right to judge you i can only declare the counsel of god and pray for you um this is very important when you are speaking to people although by the spirit it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem mama you are praying and you are still telling god there is one more thing you want to tell me i'm hearing your prayers come what is it give her the mic is that true you are standing there and you are praying and you are saying you wish that i can call you again there is one more issue what is the issue marriage my daughter's marriage. your daughter's marriage um, mama let's let's pray if that is the issue you are a good woman i want to pray for your daughters and god said that's not what you need hold it what you need is destiny help us mama as i'm looking at you now they're about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired give her the mic is that true yes sir. you need somebody to help you yes sir. seriously yes, if not a time will come even what to eat will become an issue the lord said i should tell you forget this issue of marriage hmm? the major issue is the ministry of destiny help us Amen. lord send people Amen. you see we must pray that god will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers it's a terrible thing for a woman at this age to be praying as if she never had a child as if she never trained anybody that's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late now according to scripture a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but sadly being as the situation is we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones a woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again i pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat that god himself will empower you and establish you and send you help mama don't cry in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit 
the Lord will help you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus see me after the service madam in Jesus name thank you I pray for you sir in the name of Jesus may the Lord change your life change your situation right now in the name of Jesus you are the one with the child please come we are going to pray for the sick now very quickly what's wrong with him he's running temperature this evening just this evening yes sir but he has been having persistent cough cough Coughing. let's pray for him Lord Jesus I pray for this your dear son by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now and for you his mother I command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray please why are they here mama come please stand up the Lord is visiting you the Lord is saying I should tell you he's taking away reproach and pain amen, amen, from your life amen. this is what he's saying please stand up please stand up man that he's rolling away reproach you see as God speaks to one person he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone it doesn't mean that we have to call you the time will not let that happen are we together now for instance madam are you from Kaduna who is from Kaduna uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person a woman there is a mama from Kaduna that I want to speak to now this is a young lady now I, I, a, a mama like elderly woman there's a woman who came here from Kaduna not a young lady please I, I want to just speak to that person very quickly mommy look at me you have gone through so much pain the Lord is saying I should tell you it's your children that will wipe your tears it's your children that will wipe your tears may the Lord raise them and may they wipe your tears I pray for you in Jesus name why is she here you are the deeper life um, lady you are, you are a member of deeper life are you sure hold my hands Lord Jesus I pray that you do a miracle in her life right now Put your hand on your stomach. God is taking something away from your stomach now. I curse it. Something is leaving you now as I hold your hands. You are even surprised. Even you, you would not have known that there's something there. I'm seeing like a malignant growth. Something that will later develop to a fibroid. I curse it by the God of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now in Jesus name. Come my brother. You are James. I will pray for all of you, but you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I have to pray for you. Come. What's your name? Your name is James. Do you love Jesus? I prayed for one boy, one miracle service. Very bad friends. And I'm still seeing it again. I don't know where that guy is. And the Lord is asking that we pray for him again. You see, all these gentlemen, you have to be careful. It's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station. Hold my hands. I pray for you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration. Sir, I pray for you. You will not, I don't know what is making. I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure. In Jesus' name, I command that it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for all of you. Come, sir. Let me just make contact with you very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hasana. Hasana. We are going to pray for the sick now. We have to be very fast. Hasana. Hasana. I'm seeing someone with the name Hasana. Is there someone like that? Please, very quickly. Hasana. Whether you are inside, outside. Hasana from Kogi State. Hasana. Are you not Sado's sister? Is your name Hasana? You are sure? Look at me. The Lord is bringing restoration. Restoration. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you. In the name of Jesus. May you be a benefactor of the mercy of God. The mercy of the living God mercy of the living God the mercy of the living God 
the mercy yes it's all right if your names are hasana the mercy of the living god your name too your name is hasana interested in what I'm saying. Hold my hands, my dear. The Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family. There is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus, I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. Never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's afraid already. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. The light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. This lady, you see, she's smiling. But there is a serious case. There is a very mad, wild spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands. This lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine. Now I command that spirit. This is Koinonia. I curse you by the God of heaven. Be gone now. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you would see a gentle lady like this and she would not know what is responsible for her life. This doesn't mean she's a devil. It doesn't mean she's possessed. No. It's just the advantage that Satan takes over the lives of people. I command in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue. This thing doesn't show on the face. So you just see people smiling. But they are victims of a lot of things. Let me pray for you, my dear. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you life now. Life, come. The devil wants to bring pain to your life. Hold my hands. I command it to come to an end now. Pain, repeated cycles of tragedies. I curse it by the God of heaven. An anointing is coming upon you and the Lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now. There are three ladies. I just heard the cry of children. And there are three ladies. You are standing in for your families now. As I'm speaking, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come upon them. Standing in for their families. Standing in for their families standing in for their families let the oppression in your family end now this girl's family has gone through all kinds of things this is koinonia i bring you the life and power that is in the name of jesus now this is what we're going to do please listen very carefully um you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people i wish that we had all the time but we have to work with time and um we are going to pray for the sick now. Please listen. Whether you are inside or outside, if you are trusting God, listen please. Whether you are inside or outside, aside from these particular cases, if you are trusting God for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person, whether you are inside or outside, please don't come in at random. I want you to come in. I want to minister to you myself. Aside from that, now we are going to pray for the sick. Overflow 1, please all of you should walk to the front of your projector. You will be ministered to. Overflow 2 and the ones extension of overflow 4, please walk to the projector stand outside. Overflow 3, walk to your projector stand outside. Very quickly and those inside here, I want you to just walk out to me very quickly. We are going to minister to people in that order. There are so many people it has pleased the lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles please it, it doesn't matter where you stand if you are outside don't come in just move to your projector outside hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord we're going to minister to you now it'll be very fast whilst we're doing that please your prayer request if you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones, those online you're yet to write, do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly. Every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations. There are so many people inside and outside. We are going to pray for the sick. The Lord has given us the grace. He's given us the capacity. There are people going through all kinds of things 
and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health and wholeness we cannot allow the devil buffet you some of you are standing in for your loved ones some of you are standing here with incurable diseases hiv you've heard the testimonies there is nothing that has not been healed in this house sir the lord is going to heal you you will not die that virus will not kill you you hear what i'm saying i don't mean to embarrass you i hope you are not embarrassed because i look at you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing very soon this thing will eat you up i don't have to say more than that but you know what i'm talking about there is no virus there is no situation that has not been healed in this place and you know we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified so that it doesn't look like people are just faking things so believe the lord especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you i just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people we'll be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh pastor jimmy let's see um you handle overflow one outside um pastor alpha overflow two um pastor femi let's see pastor femi and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then um have i told you where to go to okay so we'll would go in that order i'm sure that i may just walk alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is the moment oh god where you cure the incurable this is the moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in jesus name i'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is the, don't don't mind me i do all my crazy things um, let's just walk by the spirit someone here in front the anointing of the spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then i begin to pray for the sick now thank you jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so i can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give god the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as i'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the lord bless you in jesus name Please help them, whether you are Osha or not. New levels. There are people God is fishing out here, new dimensions. Shebros kaparu shabradi saladush. Shabros katabrandega deko shalabradi asha. Engreto susa brigatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord?
listen praying on the request is not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me to take off my shoes we're going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and i like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the god of heaven who answers prayers jesus jesus the son of the living god now arise O lord come to your resting place brood upon these requests let there be mighty 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 miracles mighty miracles Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speak these testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request unto him that answers prayers the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence we decree and declare in the name of jesus most high the son of the living god every request here i say again is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting I want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this 
in my opinion the greatest part of this service is what is about to happen now because believers are used to charismatism falling down rolling and so on and so forth we many times downplay the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and i've taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that god allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of god makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a scene and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember i told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer i'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know god and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of god this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it is is inaccurately used hallelujah let's correct things now let's recreate things now Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, and run some captivities. Why, yeah. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, and run some captivities. Rejoice, rejoice for Emmanuel has come to us, his Israel in the name that is above all names. I decree and declare right now every door that has been closed over anyone here in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I command that door be open now be open now be open now The Bible says, have you heard of this saying that a city gives birth in one day? But it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says, she shall give birth to son. I decree and declare, whatever you have been incubating for a long time, revealed to you by the spirit, but yet to manifest, there is grace for performance. And I command that you must have a manifestation now. I decree it. I declare it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Manifested blessings, manifested miracles. Hallelujah. I decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything, labor for everything. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you, may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you. I decree it, I declare it. May an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run. For I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And Ahab was already light years ahead 
of Elijah but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now no delay I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Isaiah 6 it says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you it says for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people it says but upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise verse 3 says Gentiles you won't look for them again Gentiles shall come to your light and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising it says where you have been deserted so that no man passes through you I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations I decree and declare from today every gift you have every dream every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the Living God. hallelujah and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth and when he came he sat down with David and he says you will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus where your strength cannot take you Satoshka Pratikata where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says and I will restore to you the years alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it I want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore in the name of Jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday I command a restoration now I command a restoration now I command me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that Jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sitest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of Jesus I create a space for you now in the name of the Lord Jesus I create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness 
is said be fruitful the first command he gave man right now in the name of jesus hear me mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he didn't say joseph will come he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you therefore i prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness it dies now in the name of jesus it dies now in the name of jesus i speak to everyone God worried. carry your children now carry your children now every aspect of your life that represents barrenness be it in the works of your hands be it in your finances in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command supernatural results supernatural results supernatural results i pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results i change the result now i change the results now i change the results now hallelujah every family here that has refused to move forward i don't care for what reason in the name that is above all names your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years in the name of jesus believe it help them please believe it in the name of jesus hallelujah this is one of my favorite blessings to people the ministry of destiny help us i discovered brothers and sisters hear me that it always flows from god through men everything money can buy relationships can buy it there are needless battles needless battles that relationships can solve the distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship but you see no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of god upon your life as a man of god as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach i prophesy to the north i prophesy to the south i prophesy to the east and west wherever your destiny helpers are i command them to come into your life now hallelujah listen i know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in abuja it was her camp that we used she's not even educated but she had access to two people a very wealthy family that needed a miracle and she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers let me tell you something the easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that god can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over 100,000 per month. Believe me. You cannot be established over 50,000 per month. You are too generous to even keep that money. And whilst you give, God will orchestrate men, but we have learned that Satan can hinder them. And pray specifically for finances. I want to invoke the mystery of divine supply. There is such a reality like supernatural provision. This ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony 
of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to david in the cave of adullam entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty of people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is in the name that is above all names i declare that between now and the next two weeks of june may they appear in your life may they appear in your life may they appear in your life hallelujah every dying business here every dying career every dying ministry that is as though you are not called i give life to that which is dying now i give life to that which is dying now hallelujah father it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service june you will return here 10 times better literally 10 times better hallelujah please lift your hands i want to release something there are people here you love god i gave you an example of this anointing there needs to be an upgrade you see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that the anointing is a very obvious quality of god it's not something you struggle to see there are many of us especially pastors we are trusting God for certain dimensions of grace. It can manifest as anything. Wisdom, strategies, supernatural grace, the grace for performance. I want to pray for you. Activations are very necessary to drive people into great results. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house every dimension from prophetic dimensions Jabo Sikata there are people receiving it now there are others is being activated others is being multiplied in the name of Jesus I open you up now strange levels of the prophetic strange levels the eyes that see and the ears that hear the impulses of the spirit I pray right now the manifestation of the spirit of revelation receive it right now revelation inside 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 take it now take it now revelation revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life are needed for your destiny I stretch my hands and I activate it now receive it right now I activate it now I activate it now I activate it now by the power of the Holy Spirit I release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership supernatural dimension of the leadership grace let it come upon you you may be weak but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ but thou shall remember the Lord thy God it is he that giveth thee power brothers and sisters there is such a thing called the power the anointing the unction the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace but I stretch my hands let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension right now receive it now the power to prosper the power to prosper you may be weak but the power to prosper bring in favor the ministry of men into your life hallelujah I don't know what has brought your prayer life down but right now in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar capacity to pray in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whoever fights you goes down instantly I say it again 
whoever fights you whether in the secret or the open goes down instantly it says you shall call on Aaron and his sons he said and you shall take your honor and give him honor is a mantle is transferable let me tell you this thing called honor is not about accomplishment there is a grace that makes people distinguished I pray for you from today that grace for honor I release it upon your life may you be honored at the gates of your destiny may you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward tonight may their prayers be answered hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done i pray for your family we believe in family in this place no matter how lifted you are if your family is not lifted he said as for me and my house we believe in family we pray for our children whether in the womb or born we pray i prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of god's faithfulness tonight in the name of jesus supernatural lifting for every family 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 and finally i pray for you in a way you have never seen whoever looks at your face i compel them to favor you listen the bible says esther found favor on everyone that looked at her for as long as you made contact with esther and you looked at her face you were compelled by an anointing believe me i have seen this thing work in my life i prophesy to you men who have no business blessing you as they look at you i compel it from their spirit may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting We're rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here. And he's saying, I should tell you, it will be like a dream. When in three weeks, it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days in three weeks, he will change your life. Whoever this is for, I release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. You are going to start a business next month on the 5th and i'm seeing before 31st it has made you a millionaire in the name of jesus i'm not motivating you i'm speaking as the spirit is giving me unction you don't believe it you will never see it never ever see it every difficulty you came here with in the name of jesus you leave it down here and walk back free in the name of jesus quickly in one minute everyone still standing I want to make two altar calls now very quickly the first please keep standing everybody no moving around inside outside please there are people here men and women who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by his spirit please let's keep standing to honor them and whilst you watch the power of God move the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith the family of the Lord Jesus Christ you are saying, man of God, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus. I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call. The second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ. But you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying, man of God, if you will lead me, I will run. 
I will run. Run to Jesus. Now these two categories of people, I know there are people outside overflow. One, two, three. Wherever you are, please, our time is gone. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. I'm going to count five. Wherever you are, leave your seat and run now. Please clear the way for them. One, quickly. Quickly. Let's honor them as they come. Quickly. Run to Jesus now. Please, quickly. Inside, outside, young and old. Quickly. Quickly. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run to Jesus. No turning back. Please keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters i appreciate you for this great decision you have made the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life i want to pray for you listen i don't want you to just recite this as a poem i want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church i want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me lord jesus say it again lord jesus i believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight I willingly receive your life into my spirit I declare with my mouth the Lord Jesus and I confess with my heart that God raised him from the dead I declare right now that eternal life is mine I receive it into my spirit I'm free from the power of sin the flesh and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you spirit of the living God you represent the presence of Jesus now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living God by the power of the Holy Spirit let these ones never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ may they never be the same again I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven I declare a new life for you I break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of God's life in you I release you to be victorious I make you victorious by the power that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you for this great decision now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um, lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the Lord bless you I love you and congratulations very quickly please guide them guide them very quickly let's do this as fast as we can dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget 
to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye